G'day guys, it's Tommy here from Raw Blend. Today I'm making for you a brand new soup recipe. This is my new coconut capsicum soup. I hope you like it. Uh, today I'm using the Ascent A3500i. Uh, this is Vitamix's top of the line model. And let's get started. So in my two liter container here, I have two cups of coconut water. If you don't have enough coconut water, you can just use water, that's fine. You can see I've actually just scooped it straight out of my coconut. And I'm gonna put in a whole capsicum, okay? A whole red capsicum. If you're on the other side of the pond, then this would be a red bell pepper, but in Australia we call them capsicums. Then I'm gonna put in one punnet of cherry tomatoes. Absolutely beautiful. Now the capsicum is really high in vitamin A and vitamin C and it actually has a much sweeter flavor than green capsicum. So I tend to use the red as opposed to the green. I'm gonna put in some spring onion. They call it a whole food machine. So you'll notice we're using the roots of the spring onion, the whole capsicum, the green part, all the seeds. You know, we don't wanna waste those. In it goes. I'm gonna put in my whole coconut flesh. So I just scooped that out of my coconut. Now, if you don't wanna use coconut flesh, you can just use coconut cream. I'm also gonna put in some almonds just to cream it up a tiny bit more. I like to make this nice and sweet. So I'm gonna add two pitted dates in there. And then I've got a little bit of dill, beautiful fresh flavor in our soup. And also some uh, basil, uh, just about you know five or six leaves of fresh basil in there. It's gonna be absolutely delicious. With the garlic, we leave the skin on there. We get more fiber in our diet. I don't even bother peeling my stock cube. Just leave that wrapper on, get more iron in your diet, not a problem. No, don't be silly guys, we peel the stock cubes of course. And we're gonna put a little bit of salt and pepper, just a little bit of flavor to taste. And I think that looks pretty delicious. I'm gonna lock our lid into place. All right, now, the cool thing about the A3500 model is we actually have a soup setting on the front here. So I literally just hit my soup setting and you'll see it'll bring out five minutes, 45 seconds, and then I hit start, and away we go. So Vitamix actually cooks using friction heat. There's no heating element inside the machine. And imagine if I did this 500 times a second, how hot my hands would be. So the same principle is working on the blades inside the container. So that's how it's making a hot soup. You don't have to cook it on the stove, okay? So let's get this going and hit our start button. Vitamix A3500 will automatically shut off when the blending cycle is completed, which allowed me to just walk away and do a few quick emails, and here we are again. So I can feel the heat coming out of that container. So inside, it's actually gonna be about 10 times hotter. So cold water, raw vegetables, five minutes. Here we go. Look at that, beautiful steaming hot soup. So what I like to do at this stage is make a chunky style soup. So I'm gonna get some leftover red capsicum. I've got some beautiful cherry tomato, a little bit of fresh dill. And we're gonna put it on a slow speed. I've got full variable control here. Just on a slow speed. Just for a couple of seconds, just to add a little bit of texture to my soup. All right, that is how easy it is. Absolutely beautiful. Oh. I cannot wait to try this. I'm gonna pour this out for you. I'm gonna actually serve it up in my uh, coconut here. In we go. Look at that. Absolutely beautiful. How good does that look? I'm gonna garnish that with a little bit of capsicum, a little bit of fresh dill. We're gonna put in a little swirl of coconut cream as well. Just like so. And that is our beautiful coconut capsicum soup. I'm going to try that in a moment. I'm sure it'll be absolutely delicious. Happy blending.